Aquarius, why you be keeping them hoes so delirious, baby? What you be doing to them, baby? What you be doing? Putting it is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot, and I am back at it again. One time for the one time, yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for December 2020. Show me the money energy. Thank you guys so much for stepping through, liking, sharing, subscribing, and clicking to this video. Video. Thank you so much for all of the love and the support that you guys be showing over here to your girl. I want to give a big shout out to every last one of you guys who've been booking personal and private readings. That's been sending love through the Cash App, through the PayPal, um, to show love and support to the page. Um, we just got a new deck. We got the Law of Divination, Cardamancy deck. I'm trying to tell you this deck smells like heaven and I'm just so happy to be able to support her. She's a fellow YouTuber. If y'all have never heard of Law Divination, y'all go and check her out and go and support her page. And thank you guys uh, for supporting me so that I can pass the love and support other content creators. So, again, thank you guys for supporting me, for us to be able to get this deck. And we also got four other decks coming off of the Amazon wish list. All thanks to you guys. So, again, thank you guys so much for all of the support and love. And I can't wait to get these new decks. Um, one of them is an Edgar Allan Poe mystery deck and cardamancy set so i'm just super duper excited about that you guys you know i like to you know read in themes so i just cannot wait to you know check that deck out so i'm so excited about that so again thank you guys for the support um of course if there's anyone who would like to book a personal private reading or if any of these uh videos if they resonate with you and give you some type of insight and clarity for you and you want to send support to the page you can always check the description box of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page it gives my pricing list um how to connect with me i only do video readings okay so you can um connect with me on instagram to book your reading if you do not have instagram um you can connect with me on google hangouts the only thing you need to connect with me is um my email so shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com if you do not have instagram and we'll get you all set up on google hangouts it's a free easy app to download and literally the only thing that we're exchanging is our email address so no phone numbers or anything like that so it's pretty cool so again you guys you know as always we're going to give thanks to god to you know the father to the creator of every level living thing uh on this earth so bow your heads with me as we you know give him his respect Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aquarius. We thank you so much for um, the knowledge, uh, allowing us to just be able to predict certain things coming towards us so that we could just be a few steps ahead of the game. You know, we've been learning how to tap into our insight and our intuition, Father God. Um, we're just taking careful footsteps, you know, making sure that everything is calculated and that we're just researching and paying attention to everything that we're doing throughout this journey and along the way. Um, again, we take a calculated footsteps, calculated movements, Father God. Like, we're very confident in ourselves but we know exactly what we're doing. And we just thank you so much for the skills and the ability that we have to just, you know, hold our head up and pride and just you know just be grateful for everything that we have and everywhere we're going like we really do see the vision we really do understand the journey we really do understand where we're going in life and a lot of people are not blessed to get that so we're just like appreciative father god continue to um you know walk with us hand in hand as we take these steps in this journey and father god thank you so much for your protection and you know your reflection over our life in the name of jesus we give thanks give us guidance for the sign of aquarius for december 2020 show me the money amen all right, let's get into this Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. Let's get into this mama. All right. Let me guidance for Aquarius. When I was doing the pre-shuffle, I did keep seeing that man holding a coin um, card. I know that's right. You better be having a man holding a coin. You got the appreciation adjacent possibilities in the goddess of the moon in the reverse so okay 
You said shit, I'm about to open up some damn doors. Give me one more, please. Ooh. You got the garden and the gate. Okay, I already I, I okay, I understand that. Okay. So you got the appreciation card and you got the uh, adjacent possibilities. So you could be in a position right now where um, you feel like your work isn't being appreciated. Like your talents, your gifts, your skills. Like you may be overlooked for someone else. I want I want to say that there's some they're playing favoritism. And like you're just as good as your counterpart and things like that. Like to you, like this person isn't doing anything fancy. It's like this person is predictable. Like they cook the same thing or they make the same verse they use the same sounds in their beats or whatever it is that you guys do creatively it's like y'all do something in the arts as either something with sculpting cooking uh making clothes interior design or selling houses it's like something I'm definitely seeing selling houses. I'm I'm definitely seeing realtors. It's like there's like the favorite in the office or something. And it's like you're tired of these people really just playing favoritism. And it's like you're not spreading the love around. You're not spreading the opportunities around. You're not spreading the acknowledgement around. And I'm definitely looking at other open doors. You're definitely about to open new doors for yourself. I don't see you sticking around in a place where you don't feel that your ideas, that your skills, that, you know, what you bring into the table isn't being appreciative. So it's not being appreciated. So you're definitely um, looking at adjacent possibilities. Now, with the um, goddess of the moon in the reverse, I feel like you are not um, trusting like your inner guidance right now with the garden in the gate. That's basically telling me that, and that did kind of come out in the reverse. So I want to say I think that you're ready. I, the Garden in the Gate basically says you have an opportunity in front of you, and it looks so good, right? It looks so good because I feel like you kind of have everything that you want right here in this little box right here at the gate. So it's like you're being hypnotized and glamoured so that you won't move further in your career. So you won't continue your path. So it's like you're supposed to be going to Mexico, but you took this little stop in New Mexico, right? <laughs> the whole time you're trying to get to Tijuana. But New Mexico felt so much like Mexico and you stopped at a couple little gift shops and you got a nice little food and it was so cool and everything like that and it's just like oh you know maybe we'll stay here a couple nights no we just stop here to get some breakfast like <laughs> we gotta keep going like we I understand that this very feels very Mexico like but no we want to have the real Mexico experience like New Mexico is still within the USA borders. Like, we want to cross the border. So it's like, don't just get glamoured and hypnotized by, you know, what's in front of you when you have so much going forward and ahead. Like, you have more space. Like, this little bit of shit that you're seeing right here, like, it's vast valleys of that shit if you just keep going ahead. So it's like, don't block what your intuition is telling you because it's like, you have been making you've been going back and forth within yourself because I feel like you have everything that you kind of been looking for right here it's just enough it's not enough space and you're not getting the recognition that you want you know so it's like you're definitely looking for something elsewhere but I feel like you are still going back and forth if you would actually take the opportunity if offered to you i want to say you're putting yourself out but you're not sure of what you're feeling like sometimes you feel like i just want to go and then sometimes you feel like i have everything that i have here everything looks good everything looks neat everything looks clean you know but it's something so much more that's calling to you and i think that you should pay attention to what's been calling to you You got the death card. So ex exactly. It's time for you to just release 
this experience. It's time for you to grow. Um, time for you to shed old skins. You don't feel appreciated. You do want to look forward to new possibilities. Um, your intuition is kind of pecking you and telling you to release this. And it's time to transition and to spread your wings and move on. So it's no point of just sitting up here. You've come this close. It's no point of you just sitting there looking at what's in that vast valley. Open up the gate and walk through it. So it's time for a new chapter. It's time for a new journey. It's time for you to, you know, mature and advance past this situation. I definitely see you're calling the death. You're calling an end into this. It's time to close this chapter and it's, it's time to open up new doors and look at new possibilities. You got the world card. So again, like I said, it's a closing of chapters with lesson learned. No regrets. Complete open doors of new possibilities and growth. Like you guys have matured. That's freedom. That's movement. So you guys have moved on. You guys may be traveling here in the future. And yeah, it's like you're coming to a new destination. You got the two of wands. So you're definitely making a decision on leaving things in the past and moving forward. I'm seeing a lot of travel here. You got the justice card and you got the four of swords. Okay. So, okay. It's saying like all faults are forgiven. Um, just given the opportunity to take some time to yourself and move ahead. You guys may be um, receiving a settlement. Yeah, it's like you guys may be receiving some type of settlement or whatever type of... Like there's a paper trail to what you've been doing and where you're going. So it's like that's why you've been given the okay to move forward and to move ahead. Because like you planned this out like... Like everything makes sense. Does that does you know? So in the court of law, <laughs> it's like your paperwork or whatever you are applying for, it gets approved. Everything like adds up. Everything looks okay. So it's you've been given the thumbs up to move forward. So I feel like you're just sitting back thinking to yourself a little bit about how you want to do things because it's like you have the communication that everything can move forward things are finally balanced and things are looking up for you you definitely are moving and it's like you're fixated on security you're fixated on growth you're fixated on i want to say entrepreneurship I definitely want to say it's like because you have everything that you need to do at this time. Like for real. I want to say you guys could have took the 9 to 5 approach. But um, that's why I'm like why well, I feel like y'all are getting like a, 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 a business grant or loan or something. It's, I want to say you guys were living in between two worlds like trying to like run a small business for yourself. And trying to do like the standard nine to five type of thing too. Because that's what people want you to do. But with that death card right there. I love how that, that it's like the, the shaman. You know. It's like you have some type of wisdom or gift or something that's kind of been passed along in your lineage here. That you know it's like you got to keep. The history flowing. You got to keep the history going. So it's like. That's why I'm like shedding old skins. It's like you have to pass the wisdom on. You can't do what everyone used to do. Um, you don't feel appreciated. And I feel like you don't feel the freedom. Like you need some level of freedom. And again it's like with this out here. It's like God sees you. He understands your principle. Like you seem very balanced. You seem very determined to do this. So I feel like you're just still just sitting back and just strategizing and thinking. Like really going within and figuring out like 
when it's your time to walk through to the other side here i definitely feel going into 2021 you're not going to be in the same position in the same place i don't even think you're going to be in the same area because i do feel like you guys were thinking about leaving and going ahead and taking things forward and it's like i really wasn't planning to, to stop and have my destination be here i, I you know I feel like it's safe to continue to travel and, and, and to keep going. Um, like, fuck New Mexico. I want to go to Tijuana. Like, I want to go to Tijuana. So, you know, like, I'm not going to allow someone to talk me into not going to Tijuana. So, it's like, you're packing your bags up and you're continuing to follow, you know, your opportunities to Tijuana. Like, you want the experience. I want, it's like I, I want the chance to start my life and, and, and start over. Give me guidance here for Aquarius. That's a lot. This is a book. I don't know if I can do that. Give me guidance for Aquarius. So, it's like God is saying, like, you guys are finally alone where you could kind of, like, focus and work on your recipes. Like, you finally have some type of peace and harmony or something. It's like, you don't have everybody looking around and, you know, worrying about what it is that you were doing. Okay, I, that's what I seen. It says, darkening of the light. Maintain a low profile. Look inward first. Caution and moderation. Difficulties, self-protection, subdue your brilliance. Okay. I want to say, like, you guys, this is darkening the light. Why I say it, it's like... They said... Okay, it's saying it's something that you need that's hidden in the shadows that can change your position a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I don't think you're afraid of the dark at all. So, it's like, you know, um, I want, they're saying like, you know how to maintain your darkness. Like, you know how to bring certain shit out when there's a challenge and you need it and you and you know how to put and tuck certain shit back in and just to be on your chill shit. So I feel like you need to go inward and just like God, it's like it's like I wanna say that's where your create your creative side comes out. It's like almost when you get mad or it's something like that. Cause it's like if you would have never felt appreciated, it's like you wouldn't have, like, I'm sorry, that's very Scorpio-like a little bit. It's like if you wouldn't have got mad, I don't feel like it would have pushed your potential. And you wouldn't have, have gone the, 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 fur, the furthest distance that you are intending to go now like you would have settled you know what i'm saying but because you didn't feel the appreciation it allowed you to have that scorpio moment with that death there like i don't want to be here anymore i don't want to do this anymore i don't feel appreciated like i'm better than them like you know what i'm saying like that's that ego you know what i'm saying that's that asshole but at the same time like you're right though you are better than them. You are so, again, but you're not like that all the time. Again, like I said, someone that has proper balance of their dark and their light. You know what I'm saying? That's a very smart individual. You need that balance. So I want to say, like, it might have been justified for you to kind of, like, pull your ego and, in, 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 you know what I'm saying, out of the shadow and just be like, I deserve this just as much. No, I feel like it's favoritism, this, this, and that. Because typically any other time, like maybe someone would have thought that you were being egotistical and blah, blah, blah. But this time, no, I feel like you had 
a right reason to say the things that you said. You weren't being in egotistical. You weren't being, you know what I'm saying, an asshole. Like I, you really sat back and thought about this, and like everything you're saying is like true. It's fact, you know. And that's why you don't want to be there anymore. So I want to say, like, especially if you've had a moment where you've said what you need to say. I don't think that you've really said what you need to say because. This right here is like someone's just being to their self and they're sitting back thinking. Why y'all keep trying to drop these books out? Please, just one card. One more additional card, please. Five, five, three, one more card. Ooh, okay. You know what? I'm just going to take this one. Boom. Wait. Yeah, this is too much. Decrease. Enthusiasm. Mary has been made in conflict. Deliverance. I don't have to take it. Alright, so listen. So... It's like they're saying like people are not respecting who you are in a situation. There is a battle. There's a conflict right here. And again, like I said, there's like it says the marrying maiden. So like there's a conflict right here with y'all are button heads. I feel like with someone's wife or someone's mistress or something like this could be like at work. This could definitely be at work. So, like, the depth... The, the, I feel like they're trying to tell you to use your... It's like, use your shadow as your shield a little bit. Like, I know you're not going to let nobody run over you. And if you're saying it's time to call it quits, it's time to call it quits. You know what I'm saying? Like it says, you've been maintaining a low profile. You looked in work first. Look, you looked in work first, didn't you? You looked in work first. Caution and moderation. I don't feel like you did too much at all. Like you really sat back. You looked at other opportunities. Again, you didn't really trust your intuition if you should just jump out there and go forward. Yet, like I said, you were standing there because you have everything that you need. And and I you know, you battled with yourself about this. But you decided to shed those old skins because, again, self-protection, caution, and moderation. Subdue your brilliance. And you didn't want to subdue your fucking brilliance. I'm not about to subdue my brilliance. I'm so sorry about it. Who? To this person? To her? Because this is your wife? Or this is your mistress? This is the person that you're sleeping with at your job or whatever, whatever. So, like... You picking favoritism or you not paying anybody else attention because this the one that be rubbing and stroking your ego in a way that I can't and I never the fuck will because I'm not a fucking whore. You understand what I'm saying? I don't even give a fuck if it is your wife. The bitch is not as smart as talented as me or half of the other people in here. And like, we're tired. Ain't nobody tell you to come to marry that whore. I'm sorry. But it's like, mm-mm. It says a compromising situation, sub subordinate, succumbing to subduction, manipulation, low self esteem. It's like, I don't want to be a victim to that no more. And I'm not about to stay quiet about that shit. Like, no. No. Look, again, a crucial conflict. There's a conflict here between you guys. And I feel like it's someone like sleeping with. The boss or something like that. Will to power. Hostility. Jealousies. Subordinates. <laughs> stubbornness. I'm sorry. Stubbornness. Aggression. Fear. Competitiveness. Competition. And controversy. That's crazy, bro. And then what does it say? Enthusiasm. Now, this... When it first came out, this shit was in the reverse. But it says enthusiasm. What is it saying? Pushing upwards. Gaining confidence. 
And then it says decrease and then deliverance. So what I'm getting here is it's like you're trying to regain your enthusiasm and try to grow from all of the foolishness that's around you. I, you really have been trying to. You've been trying to push past this, but it's hard to grow when you feel like you're battling a lose-lose battle between your talent and someone that could suck dick real good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm getting like a little Monica Lewinsky. I'm getting a little Monica Lewinsky. You know, a little Monica Lewinsky going on here. And it's like I'm tired of butting heads. It's like either that or with this person's wife or somebody that is like, you know, a subordinate of some type of way where there's some type of pick and choose favoritism here within some level of organization. And it's like hard to still be enthusiastic when, you know, you're seeing a decrease in your level of commitment because you want deliverance from this. I really do feel like in order for you to move upwards and for you to grow. And again, it says self-expression, inspiring others, self-confidence, totality, success, sharing, a positive response. You need that. You need that in order to push upwards. But if you're a button head to have a confidence because you're having to subdue your brilliance to this fool. Because you fucking her. Y'all playing footsies under the table? It says steady progress, gaining confidence, accepting challenges, a promotion, receiving recognition. Again, like, I, I need to be able to express myself. You know, I need that inspiration. I need to inspire others. I need all this. I don't have time for all of this jealousy and fool la la going on up in the workplace. I came here to work. I came here to grow. I want to say that there is a decrease in your momentum and... The way that you've been doing things, like you've just been losing your passion. You know, you've been losing your passion. And it's time for you to, I, I want to say, like, end this shit and remove yourself from out of the situation. It's just drama. It says decline, cutting back, frugality, um, contraction, letting go, less is more, resourcefulness, a sacrifice. So, like, when you go to work, like, less is more until you open up that door and you really able to move on just go and do what you got to do and just and just buy your time right now and just keep to yourself you know what i'm saying and keep your thoughts in your head just de definitely don't share your thoughts you know um but there is going to be a release there's going to be deliverance a fresh approach liberation from the obstruction finding a solution exhilaration like I said, you're going to find a way out of this. Trust and believe. I already know that. I already know that for sure. So, it's like you've already said that you're moving on. And you're repositioning your world around a little bit. And it looks like you're moving on. So, I don't blame you. Because I'm not, I'm not about to compare what I don't compete with. I'm not, oh, however you say, you don't yeah, you, you don't compare what you don't compete with. Like, I don't compare to this person. Like, that's your wife. And that's the only reason why this woman even has the title. Because you fucked her. And, you know, you put her in the position. Like, this person has, like, no skills, no ability. Other than the fact that you lay in bed next to her or something like that. Or y'all be playing footsies under the table. This six of vessels. So, like, you guys may... Like, this represents, like, home. Um... You know, you guys may be going home for the holiday, maybe having a reunion with family, a celebration. Like, you, I feel like you skipped Thanksgiving, but you're probably going home for Christmas. You need a break from this, like, honestly. You really do. You need some home cooking. You need to be around family, to be around children and things like that. I want to say, like, really giving and receiving love. Like, you know... Where emotional waters are just like constantly running. It's like a on of just love and affection and stuff. Not all this drama and like foolishness. Like it's like you need like a 
a double dose of love real quick from your family. Look, the five of stones, endurement, endurance. It's I I feel like you're in a tight situation and you don't know how long you're going to be able to endure these problems. Um, you feel withdrawn and you feel like cast out. Like, you know, like you might be the black sheep of the group. You know, like, I want to say like you might not have been invited to the Christmas party or something. So it's like it don't even matter. I was going to go to fuck home anyway. I don't fuck with y'all any goddamn way. The four stones protection. Again, like I said, I was about to go home anyway. Like I don't like spending a whole bunch of money. All these fancy ass goddamn restaurants with y'all stupid ass bitches anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I want to say like you may not be like the crowd favorite at work. I definitely feel like, you know, like you definitely keep yourself reserved. Like you may not talk to a whole bunch of people. You may eat to yourself, be to yourself. Like I don't even feel like you even be trying to fit in with people for real, for real. Because you already see what's going on. And I'm not about to kiss nobody's ass to be up in no um, thing. What is this? The wood, who? What is this? Is this, this is not. What is this saying? The woodwork. I don't know what the fuck that means. Hold on. Gosh, God, I don't want to pull this damn big ass book out. Damn, I should know what the hell number 11 is. I should know what it is. I should be ashamed of myself. Is this even the book? No, it's not the damn book. Oh my gosh. Justice. This is the justice card. Oh my god. I swear these damn decks and all of this chat. Okay, so this is the <laughs> So this is the justice card. Which we already know that you guys was Yes, the Justice card. And that's the craziest thing, because when I picked up this book, I opened it right up on the fucking chest. <laughs> and I looked right at it. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, help me! Okay, listen. So, again, like, you guys are receiving... Um, but that came out in the reverse, though. That did come out in the reverse. I believe it did. Because I flipped it over to see what the hell it was. What? <laughs> Oh my god, why am I calling this nigga Bobcat Joe? I don't know, this dude look like fucking Bobcat Joe or something. Why I want to say like some, ooh, I, and please y'all don't feel like, um, the, please don't be offended by this. I feel like someone's supervisor is like a redneck or some, some type or something like that. I really do feel like it's like, I'm kind of getting some like, some injustice in some way. Because it's like... You don't like me because your wife does, don't like me. Like, y'all some old weird-ass hillbillies. Like, I feel like there is, like, some type of racial difference or some type of difference in some type of way where it's just, like, we'll never understand each other. Like, if you guys are um working in a restaurant or something like that and say, like, you may cook soul food and, like, they are, like just different culture or something like that like eat like they can even be lebanese or something like that so like y'all might not agree with the seasonings or like uh the thought pattern or the creative or the creative method the way somebody does something so it's just like you know y'all are never going to agree with each other anyway i don't see like things working with each other and and that's why there's a constant confusion and rejections rejection here um with this justice card here I, I don't feel like the things that these people are doing to you um have any justification i do feel that you do feel alone and cast out and you keep yourself reserved from the group a lot of the times because I want to say you don't understand what's going on and why people won't allow you to like create creative creatively like express your thoughts 
and allow yourself to shine like it could even be like a situation where someone else could have been stealing your ideas or whatever and you may just want to go back home because it's like I can't stand it here like I need deliverance I you know God release me from here like can you just give me a sign give me the okay that is you know I can escape and find freedom like I may not need to go all the way home but I just need to get the fuck out of here you know what I'm saying I need to get in a more you know balance it's like an emotional thing you know what I'm saying give me guidance and love for Aquarius so just give me guidance and love You got Greta Garbo and Jay-Z. Completely two opposite generations and types. Like, oh my gosh. So Greta Garbo says, are you sure you wouldn't rather be alone? Only go to the altar if you're... Wait, hold on. Are you sure you wouldn't rather be alone? Only go to the altar if you take the lead. Marriage isn't the only way to have a partner for life. Okay. So she's just like, I'd rather be alone unless I'm in control. Like, I want to be in control of things. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind going to the altar as long as it was my decision. And marriage isn't the only way to have a life partner. So, like, this is someone who couldn't give... A rat's ass on, on if they get married or not. Like, they have a lot of loving connections and things. I feel like you safe and you alright in being single. Like, you not even tripping on that. But I feel like on the other side of things, it says avoid one-off deals. Or make sure they are really worth it. The right partner is one who can match you and then some. Who's going to help you run this time and night. So, uh, Okay. I don't think that you're going to do anything unless you're in control. I feel like there's a reason why the justice card is right here. You know, you need to have a complete and be utterly sure of the judge of character and the investment that you're making and the risk that you're taking. You know, because I don't feel that you're a big fan of marriage. Like, I, you, you would be possibly just fine with being single. Especially the females. I feel like the females are like that. I don't feel that it's like a big rush to have kids or any of that. Any of that. Uh, avoid one-off deals or make sure that they are really worth it. So, that's like taking little side offers and little, you know, things like that. So... I want to say y'all rather be alone until you know for sure with absolute clarity that your balance, you're making a balanced decision and you know that this person is completely keeping you. It's just, you know, they're not rocking you back and forth. Everything is just the way you want it to be because you don't want to be tempted to make little one-off deals. The right partner is one who can match you and then some. The three of swords in the reverse, you don't, I don't feel like you are in the business of breaking people's heart right now and I feel like it's your decision on if you want to be in a marriage or if you want to be in a commitment I don't feel like you are looking for any type of commitments right now you don't it's ooh 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 so I feel like there's certain secrets that you don't want to come out about you I don't know why they're saying that I want to say that you could have been in a third party relationship before. That's why you don't want to be tempted to like make any commitments to anybody. I feel like you'd rather just be alone because you ain't got to worry about nobody saying that you're doing anything to body and you did something or whatever. Like it's just more of a balanced decision for you to be single because you don't want nobody saying you did nothing you sneaking around and bloop 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 and blah say blah look look aren't you sure you wouldn't rather be alone only go to the altar if you take the lead marriage isn't the only way to have a life partner so listen i don't need to i don't it's like i don't want a title the knight of wands here it's like i'm not 
finish running around and doing what I want to do. So I don't want to make no commitment or nothing. I'm not into breaking no hearts. Nobody saying I did shit. The Knight of Swords is like you may be telling someone this like very bluntly. You know, like <laughs> you may be really, you know, I want to say detached. I want to say detached, like you don't have any, and then with the world card, it's like, in the page of sword card, so it's like, I want to say you guys could be very cold and detached almost, like, you guys, I don't want to say are the most, like, emotionally, uh, I don't feel like you guys are very emotional, um, you're not like a cups type of person. So I don't see like a real uber affectionate type of energy and everything like that. Like you definitely like your affection and stuff sometimes. But it's like when you want it. Um, I feel like you're a very social person. But I want to say some people can be very critical of your... Um, like people think you could probably come off harshly like the way that you talk it's like you may say things without thinking or caring about someone's feelings it's just the truth to you so you just say whatever the fuck you want you know what I'm you know And then they're saying like something about sometimes people get the wrong reaction out of you. I want to say like especially if you're drinking like I want to say like if you're drinking sometimes people could get the wrong reaction out of you and you could be like <laughs> very vocally volatile or something like that. Like it's like I ain't really want to fuck with you like that anyway. Like I I wasn't looking for a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, so it may, you know, it may be some secrets coming out about you, um, that you really just didn't want no commitment in the first place. Like there may be other people that you're dealing with. You could like and prefer running around, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, if you would have asked me, I would have told you, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. So it's like, I feel like you don't have any problem with cutting people off and starting all over again it's like you may move around a lot you may detach yourself and start over fresh a lot you know what i'm saying like you may move around you may move around what is this the page of swords in the reverse the five of wands in the reverse and the knight of cups in the reverse i feel like you don't like conflict um you don't like conflict i i, I want to say that you you pay attention deeply. Um, I want to say you pay attention deeply to what be going on around you. I want to say you watch people or maybe someone is watching you. Because you may have just you may just be detached. You may have moved on and just started over and just be in your slumber, not paying attention to nobody. It could be someone that you cut off and someone could be just like watching what you're doing like on social media or something like that i just feel like it's because you, you you made the choice with the justice here like i don't want to be in a relationship like that's not the best thing for me that would be immature so it's like paying attention and realizing and like what am I trying to say? It's like deeply analyzing the situation before you make a decision and say something. So you may have took, I want to say like someone's blocked off, like cut off or something like that. Like you're deeply detached, like you're in your new world and you're slumber. Like you may not be watching nobody, but they're watching you while you're paying attention. You're in your new world sleep in your new habitat or whatever. Like you could have cut someone off with this page of swords in the reverse because this five of wands you're trying to avoid 
conflict you're trying to avoid competition you don't want people fighting with each other and things like that and i want to say you could i want to say you know that people are watching what you're doing or whatever that's why you just chilling you in a new environment in a new world you running around doing whatever the fuck you want to do i want to say like you could be Around new people in a new situation and shit. And people don't know that you was a hoe. Or you was running. That you be running around. And you be doing things. Like I want to say like you just. You just run around being single. To mingle. Breaking hearts. Look the knight of cups in the reverse. You have no intentions. For commitment. Like I feel like if people getting too close. You may just bluntly tell them the truth. Hey. I ain't looking to get married or to be settling down with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry to break your heart and I ain't trying to be like too difficult for you and shit like that. But, you know, uh, like I'm not the commitment type. Like I'm just not. And whoever this is, you're just not the commitment type. Like you will easily detach and we equip yourself and move on. And find a different selection. And it doesn't bother you at all. Like I want to say like it doesn't fucking bother this person. Like at all. At all. <laughs> it's like, like someone is finding out like what type of person you really are. Like it's coming out like. You're a commitment foe. Like, you're not the relation type. Like, you're the one that people cheat with, not cheat on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would never be called a cheater because I ain't in no relationship for nobody to call me a cheater. I don't want to be in a fucking relationship. This is the coffee cup and the girl with the snake. So, again, I really do feel like whoever this person is, is, like, okay with being the other girl. Okay with just being single. Okay with just, like... Like, commitment phobia. I'm the one that they cheat with. Not the one that they cheat on. Like, you know, you might meet people at Starbucks and pick somebody up. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just, like, chill relationships. You just chill, lay back. You don't be trying to do too much. You stay the fuck out the way. Look, it says meeting and conversing. Savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted. Friendship. Like, yeah, you just be having some little friends and stuff like that. Like, I ain't into all that courting and all of that dating and shit. Like, I ain't, I ain't into all that shit. It says an empath and narcissist paradigm. It says being charmed or used. Enabled boundaries. A girl with a snake. Mm -hmm. Mm. Lightning in the reverse. It says sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. I'm serious. That girl with that snake with me. It says empath or narcissist paradigm. Being charmed to use. I don't think this, but like maybe just if this, if anything, this woman is charming and using these people that, uh, because, <laughs> because like, please clarify, <laughs> girl, we're just like, because, like, if anything, like, she may be holding they motherfucking snake and, and charming them and manipulating them and telling them what the fuck they about to do with this shit. And she be on with somebody else. Like, she don't be tripping <laughs> on these niggas. I please clarify the girl with the snake. Did it just flip over a bunch of stuff? No, please clarify the girl with the snake, please. Please clarify the girl with the snake. I knew. Best that seduction. I already know. <laughs> Yes, like this is the little, this is the little, this is the little scuzzy at work. You know what I'm saying? And be sleeping with the boss and all of that stuff like that. Like she be doing it a whole lot. Like I'm so sorry. It says attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Like again, like this girl just like playing around with people. Like I really feel like that. And then you got the stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. So I feel like this girl likes to meet up with with people. I don't think it's nothing serious. She just likes to seduce people and 
go that away. You know what I'm saying? I think she just likes the artist seduction and just having a good time with people. Like these people that she's dealing with may feel seduced and stabbed in the back because we doing all of this dating and things and you just like so you just was all out for self, yeah. Like I don't <laughs> Like, why are you shocked? Like, why are you shocked? Like, I'm just having a good time. I never told you I was looking for a fucking relationship. What is this? Listen, we just talking. You know what I'm saying? Listen, it says, um, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. I'm, t <laughs> we just talking. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what's the big upheaval about? What are you feeling all... I seduced you and I hurt you and I like how the fuck did I hurt you man we just like what I just what what <laughs> what is this it's like, I did not seduce you I gave you a choice and you made a balanced decision to continue to deal with me what is this the tennis sword so yes yeah, someone is definitely mourning um I feel like just being cut off and just treated like I don't know, like, yesterday's news or something like that. So someone most definitely is mourning, um, like, a breakup or what they thought was a breakup. But it wasn't a breakup to you because you keep trying to tell them it wasn't a relationship. So why are you crying over me when we weren't in a fucking relationship? Like, what are you talking about? Oh, my God. The temperance. <laughs> This person, like Aquarius, is, like, balanced and in their place that they want to be. You know what I'm saying? It's like very hopeful and looking forward towards the future like it's like look Aquarius is like Aquarius why you be leaving these hoes delirious why you be doing this to people listen Aquarius is like listen I lost all hope too I gave up hope too at one point in time I was in a position where I had to bury everything and put everything to the side and let the past be the past and me stop making an ass of myself and me pick my head up and have both uh, have hope and faith and trust my intuition and move on and just trust in God that God had something better for me. If I had to do that shit, you, you can too, brother. You can do that too, brother. Listen to Princess of Pentacles. Listen, you, she, uh, she knows exactly what to say. Again, like I said, she studied you. Do you understand? She's going to give you good, sound advice. Something that's going to make you feel tomorrow so you can rest better medicine. Do you understand? She's like a doctor. Do you understand? So she may be giving you a prescription to make you feel better, okay? Because I don't understand what you're so upset about. And we're still friends. I don't know why you said so. What, do, what, do I need to write you a letter to let you know that we're still friends and I still accept you? And everything is still alright? We're still alright, okay? I just, I don't want you to lose hope here and be feeling all destroyed because... You find out that I'm talking to other people. Yes, I'm talking to other people. Yes, I'm sorry that you think I'm... I'm I didn't know that all this stuff was going to come out and hurt you like this. Like, God. Let me give you a little... Let me let me give you a little bit of my time. You want to meet this weekend? We can, we can go out. What you want to do? Like, listen. What you want to do? Like, don't, don't, like, don't die here. I want you to have some faith. Like, what, what, what's going on? Let me breathe a little bit of life back into this. Like, we can still work this out now. Like, we're still friends now. I'm still your comrade. Like, let's keep this thing going, man. Let's keep this momentum high, man. What the fuck? Look, the two of swords, we don't need to be combative and be, at, you know, at odds with each other here. You know? All right? We need to use our logic here. No use in arguing and, you know, being combative and, you know... We can make a decision just to part ways or we can still be in each other's life. It's that easy. You know, it's not that difficult. You know, like don't step into the puddle of confusion. Step away from that puddle. Step away from that lake. Step away from that river. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Okay? Jesus, Louisa, <laughs> says the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Y'all are fucking ridiculous, says the Knight of Wands. Y'all are fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't mean to choose you and make you feel like I misused you. Jesus, I just wanted a little sex and, you know, admiration. I was just looking for a little attention. I, 
I didn't say I was sticking around forever. I said we was going to hang around, have a good time, have a very wonderful experience. I had a wonderful... I'm coming back. Like, I'm coming back to get some more dick. I don't understand why you all up in your feelings right now. I thought we was going to remain friends and you was going to be part of the tribe. No? You ain't... You know what? Listen. I'm just going to call you later because I'm not about to be sitting up here arguing with you. I told your ass. I told your ass I was not looking for no relationship. But you were fantabulous. You was just amazing. Put in. You gave me everything I need. But just I'm not looking for complete fulfillment at this moment. You know? Look. Aren't you sure you wouldn't rather be alone? Look. Aren't you sure you wouldn't rather be alone? You really want to be in a relationship right now? And young. Who, young oh my God. Aquarius. Y'all irritate me. Y'all are such a fucking smooth finesse. Like, y'all, you know what to say on this phone. You know what to say. <laughs> y'all don't make no sense. You know what to say to get them to put to pour that faith back into you, Aquarius. You be leaving them hoes delirious. I can't deal with you. I got to go. I'm not dealing with y'all. I don't want no I don't want no parts of this. <laughs> look, look. I, look, I didn't want you to see who I really was. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just trying to, you know, I didn't want you to know I was just out here just, you know, you know, you know. I'm still a good person, though. Like, don't let that change your opinion of me. I'm just, like, mm, just doing what I want to do. You know? Okay. All right, bye. I ain't trying to hurt you. All right, bye. Look, I got to go. Bye. <laughs> Hit the like button.